Hey, welcome back to me exploring the YouTube website. And for anyone who hasn't seen the other videos in this series up here, <laughs> what I mean by that is I'm exploring everything on the YouTube website except for videos. You know, the entire point of the website. Because of course there's like the normal side of YouTube intended for their average user. That basically includes like videos and channels and your subscriptions feed and stuff like that. But they also have a section about YouTube, a section on how YouTube works. There's a whole bunch of different resources for creators, etc., etc. There's a lot of different things. And so today I'm exploring a little bit more of the technical side of YouTube. I'm hoping to cover two pages today. This one, the CSAI match, and then this one here, which is about YouTube VR. So I'm gonna start off with the CSIA match, which I think means content systems, artificial intelligence. I don't know, I'm guessing. But that's exactly it, is I have no idea what this is. I don't know what this means, what it stands for. And so we're gonna read this page and find out. So, protect your content and online community from child exploitation videos. Sounds good to me. I think we need to protect children from that. Free technology to remove illegal video content. At YouTube, we're dedicated to stopping the spread of online child exploitation videos. In this spirit, we believe our commitment to the fight means making innovative technology available across the industry, including technology companies and NGOs. Don't know what that is. Uh, Non-governmental organization. Okay. CSAI matches YouTube's proprietary technology for combating CSAI. Oh, child sexual abuse imagery. So child sexual abuse imagery match. I mean, there's no way that they would have a catalog of every video of child exploitation. So clearly they have to have some sort of AI that can like analyze what's in the video and understand what it's seeing to know if something inappropriate is happening in the video. Let's find out. This technology allows us to identify known CSAI content in a sea of innocent content. See, I don't like that they put the word known there because that again implies that they already have this database of every video of child exploitation exploitation. And that's just not possible because more is being generated all the time because it's a messed up world. So what do you mean by that, YouTube? When a match of CSAI content is found, it is then flagged to partners and responsibly reported, ED please, in accordance to local laws and regulations. Okay. Again, this sounds like they're matching content that's already cataloged, like how they identify copyrighted music. But this next section, how it works. Online platforms can prevent this illegal and abhorrent content <coughs> from being displayed and shared on their sites by using YouTube's proprietary video match technology to detect CSAI, matching against one of the largest indices of known CSAI content for optimal coverage. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Indices, index. Oh, hold on, hold on. YouTube, are you claiming that you have all the- I don't wanna just keep repeating myself, so let's just keep reading. Scaling challenging content management with a simple integration with your system. That sounds good. Who can use CSAI Match? YouTube makes CSAI Match available to partners in the industry and NGOs. We give access to fingerprinting software and an API to identify matches against a database of known abusive content. What the hell? How do you- YouTube, how do you- have this database. Unless if they're talking about like re-uploads, then obviously yes. But there is new abusive content being generated all the time. There's no way you would have those videos in your database unless you had connections with the people doing the abuse and filming it. What the fuck? I highly doubt that's what's happening here, but companies and NGOs already participating include Adobe Thorn 1, or is that just, oh, that's a thorn. Yahoo, Yahoo still exists. <laughs> Wait. Legitimately, Yahoo still exists. Wait, really? Oh, I, okay. Wow. I, I actually thought, why are you blurry? Stop it. I actually did not know that Yahoo still existed at all. That was, that's weird. Why do they still exist? Who uses that? Look at this garbage. Who uses this website? I'm probably the only person who have loaded it within the last 40 years. No. Why did I say 40 years? The internet hasn't even existed that long. I don't know, five years? Do you use Yahoo? If so, let me know in the comment section uh, and why. Anyways, Tumblr, Reddit, and the Canadian Center for Child Protection. And some reviews. CSAI Match was straightforward to deploy and quickly proved itself a very effective tool in our ongoing fight against the online distribution of child sexual exploitation content. Says Mary Catherine Worth, Associate General Counsel and Director, Trust and Safety at Adobe. And the YouTube CSAI Match service enhances our ability to prioritize videos involving child sexual abuse, reduces our analyst team's exposure, and will greatly assist in accelerating video removal, says Leon. Anna McDonald, Executive Director, Canadian Centre for Child Protection. Prioritizing 
in what? You could probably tell by the look on my face as I was reading this, when they say prioritizing the videos, the first thing that comes to my mind is like on YouTube's homepage, they're gonna prioritize the videos that I'm most likely going to want to watch. In what context are you prioritizing videos involving child sexual abuse? The only thing I could think of is within some sort of internal system that they can use to try to track the people that created this content and go after them to stop them from continuing to do these horrible things. But that system that I immediately envisioned as I was reading this does not explain why you would reduce your analyst team's exposure. This would be purely for the sake of increasing their exposure. Removal from what? From Canada? I demand context and I want it now. Contact us. I would like to contact you for context. We have partner managers to help you get set up. I don't want nothing set up. We'll reach out and we'll be in touch. Get started, already a partner, neither. FAQ, here we go. Find answers to your CSAI match questions below. Do your CSIA match work for images? CSIA match is designed for video, but through Google's Content Safety API, a collection of tools are available to the industry and NGO partners, offering machine learning powered classification for images. Learn more. And where does this go to ah, the Google blog, so I don't care about that right now. When information is returned with an identified match, the match will identify which portion of the video matches the known CSAI as well as a standardized categorization of the type of content that was matched. Yeah, so clearly this is only for re-uploads. This seems not like it's something designed to go after the people originally generating the content. It's more so of just trying to stop people from sharing it around. What happens when a query returns a positive match for CSAI? Child sexual abuse content is illegal in most places. Most places? Why not all? Wait, hold on. Where is that not illegal? Do you know? I I'm, I really don't want to Google where that's legal because then I'm going to get myself on some sort of watch list. <laughs> so if you are already aware of some place, why am I blurry? Hold on. Let me fix that. I'm sorry. Hold on. I need to turn off the autofocus. That's better. So if you're already aware of where that would not be illegal, then let me know in the comment section. Also, if you know of why it would not be in those places, let me know about that as well, because I would be fascinated to find out. This is weird stuff. And a provider may have legal obligations to report the incident. In the US, service providers are required to report such content to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Good. CSAI Match allows you to find this content before it's exposed to your users. Cool. What happens in the event of a false positive? In the rare case of a false positive, we will work with the provider to resolve the issue. Cool. So this is like not at all related to YouTube. It's a completely separate service intended for a completely different target user that's just made by the same company. It almost feels weird that it's made by YouTube. It feels like this should be like made by a sub company or something. So I'm not gonna like get started because I don't have any sort of video service yet in which I would need something like this. So uh, let's just close that out. And on my list of pages, I can cross that out as a dead end. Alrighty, so I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video that originally this video was going to be a combination video of the CSAI match and the YouTube VR to kind of showcase some YouTube technologies. And I've recorded like half of the YouTube VR part of the video and that is going on for way longer than I expected, like way longer. And so I decided I'm just gonna cut that out and make it its own video, maybe even its own series. There's so much more to it than I expected. So thank you so much for watching. Um, this was weird. So now that I've edited this video, it kind of makes sense that it would be a database of footage that they already know about, which I was surprised about because like, yeah, more abusive content is being generated all the time but so is like new copyrighted content is being generated all the time. So yeah, I guess this system makes sense and I'm glad it exists because I am not glad that child abuse exists. And if you are glad that child abuse exists, then smash dislike because I don't want you liking my videos. I don't even want you watching my videos. Get the f out of here. But if you hate that child abuse exists, smash like. <laughs> Abuse the like button. Uh, pull out your belt and slap that subscribe button. <laughs> I feel like this may be something I shouldn't joke about. All jokes aside, it is very, very serious, and this is a very good technology. Someone had to make it, and I'm glad YouTube did. And I just hope that it works a hell of a lot better than their content matching system. Maybe that's why their copyrighted content identifying system doesn't work quite as well, is because they're funneling all their funds into the CSIA match. AI match. CSAI match. Oh. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, press like. If you want to see more, subscribe and ring the bell to turn on notifications. If you want to help support my channel, then share my videos with anyone else you think might enjoy them and take care.